Macquarie University brightened their chances of winning a silverware this season. The university side over the weekend eliminated a Sewell Gafford ladies 3 0 to progress the quarterfinals of the FUFA Women Cup. Catherine Nagadia, who has been one of the key players for Macquarie, notched a brace before Prosy Nawakela added the other. At Moobs Arena in Nakawa, Millicent Mwanzi scored the only goal at last season's runners up. She corporate edged Mutessa One Ray University, where Uganda Matters High School. Lubaga fought hard to see off Buganda Region League side Divine Girls winning the game 1 0. Prosti Nerwaga was on target for the Rubaga best side. The Women Cup is a knockout competition that is played by all the FUFA women elite league clubs plus other teams across the country that are interested in taking part. The knockout competition gives women footballers more competition and, in the long run, helps in the growth of the game. You see Lady Cardinals who were ejected from the competition by Kawempe. The Muslim 3-1 are the defending champions. In the National Beach Soccer League, Isabeti Beach Soccer Club moved up top of the table standings in the National Beach Soccer League. The Entebbe Best Club defeated MS Sand Lions and Talented 8-4 and 10-3 over the weekend at Lido Beach. Entebbe to move to 22 points, two above second place moves who were not in action. Roch Somoka and Swaib Kakwaya each had hat trick before Rika Biaruhanga added a brace for Isabeti to overcome MS Sand Lions. The players were also on the score sheet when Isabeti thrashed talented. Elsewhere, Nkumba defeated Mutola 5-3 while MS Sand settled to a 1-1 draw with bottom side Entebbe Sharks in other games played over the weekend. Debutants Entebbe, who have few chances of surviving relegation, have not won any of the last eight games. In the women category, Katuso community beat Kampala junior team while Alphonix were given three points and goals by the league organizers after the opponents talented did not not show up. It's a bet beat KIU 8-3 in the final to walk away with the men's title last season while Mutesa won Roy University who were declared the champions in the women league after topping the table with 30 points. <laughs> Now in the 2019 AFCON final qualifier, Uganda Cranes coach Sebastian De Sabri has summoned a big pool of players to start preparing for the final qualifier of the 2019 AFCON against Tanzania later this month. De Sabri has named a list of 15 foreign best players who will be joined by 31 other star players in the Star Times Uganda Premier League. So then, nine players will be selected after a regional tour match in Kampala for a camp in Cairo together with foreign best professionals. In the UEFA Assist Under-17 International, the Uganda Under-17 National team will use the UEFA Assist Under-17 International Tournament to fine-tune their plans for the Africa Under-17 Cup of Nations. The Cubs, who are in Antalya ahead of their opening game against Cameroon Tuesday, will have a chance to play some of the teams they will meet in the Nations Cup Finals. The tie against Cameroon was supposed to be played Monday, but was postponed Tuesday due to unfavorable weather in Antalya. Uganda's placed in Group 2 of the championship with Cameroon, Morocco and Belarus, while Group 1 comprised of Tanzania, Guinea, Australia, Turkey. Group 3 consists of Senegal, Nigeria, Angola and Montenegro. Out of the eight teams that qualified for the Africa and the 17th Cup of Nations, six will take part in Turkish competition. <laughs> Now off to the international sport, Liverpool eyes title race. Despite dropping two points, Liverpool manager Jagan Klopp believes that the title race is still open. Klopp 
revealed this after his side settled to a goalless draw with Everton at Goodson Park over the weekend, something that affected Liverpool's chance of winning the title this season. The result saw Liverpool move to 70 points, one below defending champions Manchester City. Now Liverpool has to win their last nine games and pray that Manchester City drops points over the remaining nine games if their dream of ending a 29-year wait for the Premier League is to be achieved. In the Premier League, former FIFA referee Mark Glattenberg believes that Manchester United were lucky not to be penalised twice as they celebrated their 3-2 victory over Southampton on Saturday in the Premier League. Glattenberg says United were privileged to come away with three points, stressing the two key decisions that should have gone against them. The first was Chris Smalling's challenge and Ryan Bertrand, which went unpunished by match referee Stuart Atwell. Smalling seemed to have held on the Southampton full-backs shot inside the penalty area, something Glattenberg believes that United could not just walk away without penalizing them. Sports news compiled by Shafiq Senoga. Stay tuned for more sports updates on www.newvision.co.ug forward slash sports.